So um, there's a project I've been meaning to talk about and I just hadn't got around to it. And I figure it's Monday, I'm late getting to work. Of course, when it's an hour and a half away, but let's not fall fine. Uh, you know, I just, there's a lot of projects out there that have claim the fame when it comes to Elon Musk. And the Elon narrative has saturated the market so heavily uh, over the years that it's just, it's just very difficult to, it's very difficult to promote something when Elon does approve of it. It's kind of like the thing where it's like, oh, Elon liked our post. And you're like, well, Elon likes everything. And when you really investigate, you find out, no, Elon does not like everything. And uh, it just seems like that because all the degens, every time Elon makes a post, Elon can make a tweet about, Oh, the sun is extra bright today, and the DJs are going to la launch out Brightcoin based off of Elon's tweet. And Elon doesn't have nothing to do with it, you know what I'm saying? But they're going to ride the coattails, the claim to the fame. And then when a real meme coin with a good developer who wants his project to succeed, he gets an actual real like from Elon on one of his posts or multiple posts. Nobody bats an eye because of the Elon saturation. You know, that Elon narrative has it just been crazy. And, uh, you know, it all co goes back to Dogecoin in 2020 when Elon promoted it. And Dogecoin has been the only meme coin that he's ever promoted that he's not personally involved with. Now he's got a few like Optimism and Grok AI, but those are AI robotics, crypto projects that Elon is involved with and we know he is, but they're not meme coins. And so uh, I, I make this whole long spiel, this whole long rant to set up the narrative here that uh, a project, a meme coin, it's called Slack. Um, it's got the, the profile picture is a black cat with shades on. And the dev, I've talked to the dev on spaces. He hosts spaces, Slack spaces. And uh, really good dude. And you know, trying to find out why Elon, I went on there talking to him and I'm trying to find out why Elon would like multiple posts of this rando meme coin. And in doing so, you find out that back in the day, this dev was a part of the OG Shiba uh, ecosystem. Like he talked to Ryoshi and Kusama, when no, nobody even knew who Kusama was. He talked to Ryoshi, it was nothing. They was in those little, little groups. This is when nobody even knew what Shiba was about. And it's basically Elon would come in there and Elon had no real, this is before Elon really took off in the crypto space. Elon really was just starting to get his footing in the door with SpaceX and all these other big tech companies, Tesla, you know. So uh, it was kind of one of them things where because Dogecoin had did so well, Elon come in to check them out. And it's not really a big issue. Like, like you hear about it now, you're like, yeah, that's probably true. Elon probably did come in there. Dogecoin did so well. He's probably seeing, looking around, seeing if he could pump another one to the moon. You know, that's, that's probably the truth. You could see that happening. But this old boy is like, I didn't really realize how 
big Elon was. And of course, none of us really did tell the whole Dogecoin thing. And we kind of knew, we kind of knew who Elon was because, you know, the rocket man or whatever. But, but really, a lot of us didn't really pay attention. Let's just call it what it is. And so, uh, you know, and he was, he was kind of like some of us, not really paying attention to Elon and chit chat. And he's seen him up in the, in these little, little sub groups, you know, telegram groups or whatever, before telegram was even a thing. And, uh, you know, the early days and, you know, no real big deal. And so, you, you know, after talking to him, it's like, okay, so he likes some of your posts because he knows who you are, but he's not really promoting your coin, uh, you know, basically what it amounts to. You're just going to have to make it on your own, but, you know, he hopes you make it. Kind of, that, that's what it seems like to me, you know, and... The Elon narrative has saturated the market so much that it's not really moved the needle for slack. I mean, I'm not trying to downplay this, okay? But whenever you're, he's talking to people, Elon liked my posts. But then he has to battle with them over Elon likes everybody's posts. But then it's not really the truth because Elon does not like every rando meme coin's posts. Matter of fact, you'd be hard pressed to even go find where he has liked any post from meme coins at all. Now, because of Grok AI and because of Optimism, which are big crypto projects that Elon is involved with, you know, in a nonchalant way, you know, it's kind of like he promotes them, but he's not really hands on. He's, there's other people running that. But, but anyway, and because of Dogecoin, it seems like he's liking all these meme coins. But what's happening is every time a new meme coin launches out, they try to make a, an Elon connection. And there is no Elon connection. They're just trying to, they're just trying to pump their coin. They're, oh, look, Elon tweeted this. And now we have, like I said, oh, it's a really bright day today. And now you have bright coin. Yeah, but Elon has nothing to do with that coin. He just made a tweet about the sun being bright. And the Degens went and made this pump and dump. And there's been so much of that, the saturation of that is just really... I mean, so now, getting a couple likes from Elon on your coin, you're not, it's not going to move the needle. Now, had Slack coin come out in 2020, late 2020, early 2021... And they get a couple of likes on their post from Elon. Slack would be at a hundred million market cap. I mean, I'm just like, just like that, hundred million. But because of the saturation, it's not that way anymore. Now the dev for Slack, I like him. I like him. And there's a there's several of the Frontier crew that has bought bought into then you know they got a bag of slack and i was like you know you'll get a 10x this this project's been around since 2022 it's well north of two years old the dev is still hosting spaces he doesn't have any other projects none of that you know what i'm saying like this is his only project uh i think he he might have bridged over to bnb i think he did do that but Started on Ethereum, bridged over to BNB, something to that effect. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? Other than trying to uh, be multi-chain, I mean, this is it. This is all he's ever fooled with. This is what he does. He's still pumping it. I said, man, it, yeah, I mean, it's a solid, it's a solid play. It's going to give you a 10X, but <laughs> fault finding with a 10X, like, most people will be happy with a 10x here. I'm fault finding with a 10x. <laughs> Ain't that terrible? That's the degen in me. Yeah. Maybe it overperforms and you get a 20x. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, 
Other than that, I, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. Um, it's a meme coin. The black cat It's called Slack. Elon has liked a couple of the, the uh, posts through the years. Doge designer follows Slack. Sir Doge of the coin follows Slack. Both those influencers. They might have a small moon bag. There's this outside possibility. And I talked to the dev about it. It was, it's just pillow talk, pie in the sky talk. It's like you're standing around the water cooler at the job and you're talking about what if we won the lottery? It's that kind of talk. We did that on the spaces. There's this possibility that maybe these influencers got a small moon bag, that maybe Elon's got a small moon bag and they decide that they like this guy. Elon remembers this guy from back in the early days in Telegram when he was looking for the next Dogecoin and he was checking out Shiba, you know. Uh, he doesn't know if Elon had anything to do with Shiba going to the moon. He just remembers seeing Elon in there. He kind of said, hey, what's up? And Elon's like, responds a little bit, but really he was just there. About like what me and you would do, checking out a project and seeing what's going on with it and talking to the devs and then deciding if we want to put our money in it or move on to the next. That It was like that. It Because Doge did so well. So it wasn't like, you know, he... He seems pretty grounded, pretty reasonable. I could believe that. I could believe what he's... I've been in this market long enough to... Yeah, that's probably the truth. It probably is. It really is. I mean, but he's trying to claim, run the... He's trying to say, hey, Elon liked my posts. He doesn't really do that, but it's hard to run with that narrative because the saturation of the Elon connection... There's just been too much of it. It's just not going to work now. Had it been directly after, you know, Doge went to the moon, 2020, late, early 2021, you could run with that narrative and it would work. But it ain't going to work now. And I mean, it's not fair. Clearly, Elon knows who this guy is. He's got some high profile people following him. I went through his followers list. He's got like real estate agents following him. Like people who are following him are not normal degens. They're like regular entrepreneurs that are following Slack. Like dude, they, if they decided to pump Slack, they could pump it easily to 100 million market cap. But are they going to? You can't base it off of hypotheticals, people. I, I mean, I know I'm... I'm talking down on a 10x. I was for sure 10x talking down on it. That's terrible. But I, you know, I like the dude. I really do. I like the dev a lot, man. I've talked to him several times. Like, if you ever wanted to be in a project where you can completely trust the dev and know that he's not going to run off with your money and all that, Slack is where you want to park your money at. Yeah, but it's. It's just going to give you a 10x. I don't make the rules. I'm sorry, I don't. Unless these high profile people that are following this project, unless they decide one day that they really like this dude enough that they're going to send his, his cat coin slack to the moon, it's just going to give you a 10x. Yeah, that's all. Maybe it overperforms because of market conditions. And you get a 20x out of it? Maybe? Yeah? Uh, I mean, I hate to even talk down on a solid project like this, but I don't make the rules. You know? I'm sorry. And it's a meme coin. It's got a lot of great things about it. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to pump and dump on you. It's not, you know? But anyway. Uh, like I said, there's several people in the Frontier crew that have got bags, moon bags. I do not have any money in it. I do not. Um, but, you know, I, I would like to sit here one day 
and make a video on it and say, man, I wish I would have put money on that project. I would love to make that video one day. Really, because that means that several of the Frontier crew, <laughs> you know, done went to the moon and they're sitting on a mountain of prosperity. I don't, I don't have to be in every project, okay? But, you know, I don't mind promoting it. The Frontier crew, it's, it's about four or five of them done got in. Uh, one of them came along, wanted in my group, said, I know a project. I said, well, come on in. And then he started promoting it. And he got several others in there and we started talking to the dev and they liked the dev and they like, what you think? I said, it's a 10 X. And then we started arguing over a 10 X. And then one of my admins are like, y'all going to seriously argue over a 10 X. Like, like that's a terrible thing. And I'm like, you know what? We, I, you know what? You're right. This is retarded. We're, it's a 10 X. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get, you got to turn a hundred into a thousand. That's a terrible thing. When did that become a terrible thing? Like it's like the dumbest thing to argue over ever. And it is, it's going to give you a 10 X easily. Slack will easily give you a 10 X, but we're like, yeah, but it's not really going to be the 10 X we're looking for. Like, what's the difference? There's a difference of a 10 X. What if it gives you a 20? Anyway, it was a crazy moment. You would have just had to been there. Yeah. And uh, so I'm like, yeah, let me make this video on Slack. Like you go to the spaces when they have spaces on Slack. And uh, I'll put the links and all that in the description of the video. So you go down. No, I'll put it in the comment section. The comment section works out a lot better for people. So when you go to make a comment, you'll see the links and you can follow them to Twitter. I'll give you the Twitter link. If you want to go to the Telegram, you're going to have to do a little homework for yourself. I can't hold your hand on everything. So I'll put the Twitter link to where you can at least find the socials for the Telegram. And then he does spaces, uh, you know, and you can follow that. He'll answer all your questions. I mean, you can go in his spaces and talk to him. I mean, he ain't scared to answer your questions and tell you the whole history. If you got the time to sit there, he'll tell you everything. He'll tell you the whole history, the whole rundown. He don't mind because he's trying to grow it organically. My, my biggest thing, I, okay, I do have to put in my gripe. The reason why I downplay it and it's only going to be a 10x. Here it is. No marketing. Dude, he he wants to do it organically. The, the coin's been out for over two years. It's right around a million market cap. And I'm like, man, if you just put in 10, 20 grand on a marketing campaign right here at the at the at this bull market. You could, when this bull market takes off and you threw out 20 grand on a marketing campaign, Slack would be at a hundred million market cap easily. But he doesn't want to do that. He wants to grow it. He wants people to have a chance. And it's grown. It has. I mean, people have jumped in and it's, you know, but it's, and I, I'm, you know, with his hustle and doing spaces, it can t give you a 10X in this bull market, but that's all it's gonna give you. And the hopium of maybe some of these big influencers decide to jump in and help him out, you can't bank on that. Just because they're following the project and they like some of the tweets he makes, you can't bank on they're gonna do something with it. They just know who he is and he's been in the space and he's a hustler and they like his enthusiasm and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, you know? His his he needs a marketing campaign. That's my biggest gripe, really. I mean, all he'll he'll tell you all the pie in the sky you want to hear. But but at the end of the day, without a marketing campaign, all you're going to get is a 10x. Yeah, bottom line. 
Uh, I don't make the rules, folks. I just understand the game. And if you're going to be out here on the frontier, all that hopium is going to get you wrecked. You know? But you can get a 10X. Maybe it overperforms. He's got a lot of hustle in him. You might pull out a 20X. You never know. But anyway, as always, none of this is financial advice. Do your own research. After all, it's just crypto news and entertainment. Yeah, Slack. It's been around for a while. I like the dev a lot. I like him a lot, man. Solid dude. Not, you're not going to get ripped off. He just needs a marketing campaign. That's my biggest gripe. Like, that, that coin should be in the millions of market cap right now. It really should be, but, but whatever. Uh, I don't want to keep harping on it. <laughs> May, I made this video a lot longer than I thought it would be. But I figured, you know, I need to say something. Frontier crews in it. Some of them are big believers that it can do a lot. Maybe it can. Dude, I would love to make a video where I'm slapping myself and I'm like, why didn't I get in? You know, and it's, you know, I missed a hundred X. I would love to make that video. I would. And if some of these big influencers ever decided to take Slack and do something with it, yeah, that, that would happen. But uh, as of right now, all you're going to get is a 10X. Bottom line, any way you slice. Without a marketing campaign, you just all it's ever going to be is a 10X. I'm sorry. You know, I don't make the rules. So anyway, let me get out of here. I got, <laughs> I got to get to work. I got a lot to do. With that said, you stay frosty out there.